Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I've got good news. I'm feeling pretty good again. Feeling like I'm finally back in a place where I just feel good about climbing. I just feel good about everything that's going on. I'm feeling determined with my climbing again. So that's super exciting. I haven't felt that way in a really long time and that could be because, you know, the opening and closing of the gym constantly and just feeling a little bit unmotivated with everything that's gone on the last couple years. But I'm back in a mindset where I feel like it's time to push myself again. So what does that mean? Uh, that means I'm finally gonna start training again. I'm excited about it as well. Like super stoked to start training. But the only issue is that I kind of got to start at square one. Honesty hour guys, I'm far from being fit. It's been a long time since I've been fit. <laughs> so that's the area that I'm gonna tackle first is just general fitness. Um, so that's gonna include things like cardio and strength. As I increase those, that should improve my climbing as well, just because I'll be generally more fit. So my typical week is gonna have about two climbing sessions a week now. Um, and then the other days I'm gonna be focusing on strength training and cardio training. Think of it as me building a solid foundation to then build on top of. I am loosely basing this training off of Neil Grisham's training program. And I say loosely because his is pretty intense and I gotta bring that down a little couple notches to uh, where I'm currently at uh, so the next few weeks will be strength and uh, cardio kind of based but then after that we'll start getting into a little bit more climbing specific so that brings us to what I am doing here at the gym today so today I'm gonna be doing some low intensity endurance training for climbing I'm gonna be doing something called four by fours on routes I'm gonna pick out four different routes that are two grades below my maximum on site. That way I can do high volume, low intensity, kind of build up that endurance at a nice pace. Sweet, so like I said, I'm gonna pick out four different routes and we'll climb each of them four times. Once I'm at the top of a route, I'm gonna lower down and move quickly to the next route. When I'm done all the four routes, I'm gonna rest for about the same amount of time it took me to complete the four routes and then I'm gonna repeat that process three times over. So four by four. <laughs> by the end of this four by four session, that means I will have climbed 16 routes total. Mathematics, yay! <laughs> then I'm gonna move on to antagonists and core. Let's get on the four by four and get started there first. Okay, so, uh, I made my first rookie mistake. And that was not bringing comfortable shoes. Oh my God. I had the solutions in the bag. I thought I had something else. Wear comfortable shoes to do this. <laughs> I've got three more rounds to go. And I'm already feeling it. <laughs> that one's a little bit better though. The last one I felt like I was pumped out of my mind, which I don't think is necessarily right because it's supposed to be low intensity. So I think that that, that was like the better grade. Just because by the end I was definitely pumped, but like not like I definitely couldn't do it anymore. So that was better. Two more rounds to go. Holy shit. I am, I made it halfway up the last uh, climb of that round. There's just uh, this taller kind of move where a lot of it goes on my arms when I switch my feet. And I got through that, but then I was just, couldn't close my hands on the next one. So last round I got to drop intensity a bit because I think it's a little too high. Sweet, one more round. <laughs> Almost there. I think that was a good one to end on. It's been a really long time since I've done four by four by fours. I've only ever done them on boulders, not routes, so this was definitely new. I learned a lot, I've made a lot of mistakes. Number one, don't wear solutions. And number two, the first and the third route, I think, were a little too slightly overhung. I should have stuck with Bert. My options are a little limited, but definitely lessons learned. <laughs> so now that I'm sufficiently tired AF, take a wee bit of a break, and then we're heading on over to some antagonist and core training. Okay, I'm gonna be doing three sets of 20 reps of push-ups, 
reverse wrist curls, and finger extensions. I've got kind of limited resources for things here, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I don't have a rubber band for the finger extensions, so it is what it is. Here we go. <laughs> Now that my arms are sufficiently blown up enough between the low intensity <laughs> uh, endurance training that I just did with the 4x4s and the antagonist training that we just did with the push-ups, my push-ups are abysmal. Form police, like, I know it's bad. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get better by training. So now it's time for core. I'm gonna be doing an extreme plank, iron cross, and then leg paddles. I need to work on core. Harness is feeling a little tighter these days. Be honest, be real with you guys. Oh, and again, like I watched Neil's video on these three core exercises. Um, leg paddles, I know how to do. My form's probably gonna be shit, but uh, the extreme plank and the iron cross thing, I don't necessarily super understand it. So my form is not gonna be good, but I will link a video for you in the description on how he does it so that you know how to do it well. Cool, let's get started. Okay guys, that is the session. I am sufficiently wrecked. I'm pretty tired, especially my forearms, my arms, my chest, all of that. Holy smokes. But I am so, so happy to be back at this again, back into training, back into setting uh, myself up with a really good mindset for, for this season. I'm super stoked. My goal with all of this is to increase my on-site level, hopefully a full grade. That'd be really nice. My other goal is just to have fun. Continue having fun with it, continue feeling stronger, continue feeling good about my climbing. I'm gonna be regularly posting this training and my progress, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna follow along with that, that'd be awesome. Let's get fit together, so follow along. And let me know where, where you're at with, with your climbing currently and your training currently. I, I am honestly interested to know, so comment below where you're at and let's, let's do this together. Thank you so much for watching this one. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna see you again in the next one. Ciao guys, bye.